My name is Alfar Adolf Steinson, a faculty member in RLE, and I do work in uh, medical imaging. Our offices are in RLE at MIT, our physical office space, and this is where sort of day to day, if it's sitting here, they're, you know, they're taking classes or if they're working on uh, maybe the, their coding work or the analytical work. But we also, you know, with a 10 minute taxi ride, we find our way into the Martino Center in Telstown. And we have office space down there. We have access to more MRI machines, you know, and of more variety than probably anywhere else. It's a large community of, of uh, professional engineers, scientists, and physicists, uh, and kind of with exposure to people on the clinical side. When you're on this boundary of engineering, mathematics, um, sort of fundamental EACS material on one side, and you have either medicine or neuroscience on the other side, the good stuff happens on the boundary. You know, the good stuff happens when you ask the right question on the science side, a question that's really fit to the tool. My group, we're in an interdisciplinary field. So we're, we, we come at it kind of from the engineering point of view, right? So we're, we're tool makers. We're also in very close ties with the people who actually apply this in science. So ultimately, say, we're driven by a particular application. Um, is it better detection of a neuronal marker for dementia or MS or cancer? Is it, uh, is it mapping of quantitative oxygenation parameters in the brain? Whatever it may be, we want to have the most impact we, we can on these questions. And that takes understanding of the MR physics. That takes maybe building another RF coil. Maybe that takes coding up things in the machine to, to, to get the data that we actually want. So it's not so much that we actively decide that this is what we want to do, it's by, uh, it's a consequence of doing the best job we can at addressing a particular problem. We're very goal driven and it kind of leads us to the source of where these signals came from. Teaching at MIT, I think in particular, is rewarding because the audience you have is unique. Uh, the students push you. Right? They're not asking questions to show off that they could create a good question. You know? They ask a question to actually genuinely, genuinely understand uh, what they're being told, and they ask questions to extend the boundaries of what they're being told. I've worked with um, uh, several undergraduates on, on smaller and shorter term projects uh, but the main mainstay of, of labor and intellect is is the graduate students and so they um, pick a project we talk about what are sort of the open problems in a, in a particular field you know there's different types of research that we do and what actually interests them and, and the main message you you don't want to work on things that you're not interested in. Right? Be very interested in whatever you pick to work on. And then they sit down. They start ramping up into a new theory. You know, I, I set up regular weekly meetings with all of my, all the students in the group. But then there's also kind of the informal component of, of just interacting with people and just walking down the hall. You know, there's a lot of spontaneous um, mixing and, and interaction um, that is just extremely gratifying to be sort of in the midst of this this environment. Having this, you know, the free market system, you know, in, in this <laughs> implemented in this way, is extremely productive, um, and and I think it's a it's a core strength uh, of this system. Success for us is the students' success. So for them to um, make an impact on the field, that's success. Because that's something that leads to better diagnostic imaging. Maybe it's a method that 
allows us to see something with MR that has never been possible before. I don't, I don't think the boundaries have been mapped completely in terms of where you can take MR or imaging. This is uh, important. It's important for us to understand how far we can take this. What are the challenges on the engineering side? Um, and what is the payoff for, for human health, for science? The direct benefit of the work we do generally is, I like to think ultimately, improve human health, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's impact on the diagnostic side, it's impact ultimately on, on the therapy side. That as the overall motivation for the work is, is, is quite important. That's our ultimate uh, guiding, guiding light.